greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus for this special day. As we gather here this afternoon, there's an atmosphere of love and joy that surrounds us and fills our hearts. This is a very sacred ceremony that brings us together today because only God can join together two lives in the bonds of holy matrimony. But at the same time, it's a joyful celebration because it is the culmination of a relationship that began a few years ago <laughs> and now becomes a lifetime commitment. The Lord caused your path to cross and I believe you would both say to each other as you stand here together, the words that we read in 1 Samuel 15, 1, I am the one the Lord sent. And as so as serious and as sacred as this ceremony is, it is also a time of great rejoicing, even though there will probably be a few tears before it's all over. And as we pray today, I want to remember the grandparents, especially Duff and Marie, who really need our prayers today. They could not be here, the grandparents could not be here. And so we want to pray for them as we pray God's blessing on this ceremony. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of the Lord Jesus, and we thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. We thank you, O oh God, that as we stand here together, we are looking at this man and this woman as they are about to make this commitment for a lifetime. I pray your blessing upon each of them. And together, as they are joined together in holy matrimony, I would pray, God, your blessing upon them as they begin to go down life's road together and today lord we would especially pray for the grandparents that you will just lay your healing hand upon them in the name of the lord jesus we pray it amen you may be seated <coughs> who gives this woman to be married to this man defined in first corinthians chapter 13 it says love never fails amen so nicholas you take carissa to be your wedded wife promising to love keep cherish her protect her and be her faithful and true husband so long as you both shall live carissa do you take nicholas to be your wedded husband promising to love honor and respect him and be his faithful and true wife so long as you both shall live thank you and do you both promise to submit to each other as scripture commands. We do. Now these vows that you make to each other are vows or promises that the beauty of your love this day will grow and last forever. Nicholas, repeat after me and take your bride's right hand. I, Nicholas, take you, Carissa, to be my wife, to have and to hold this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. With these vows, I give you my solemn pledge before God and these witnesses. Carissa, repeat after me. I, Carissa, take you, Nicholas. Carissa, take you, Nicholas, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to church, to death do us part. With these vows, I give you my solemn pledge before God. What tokens do you offer that you will faithfully perform these covenant vows? With this ring, I pledge to you of our great perfection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. With this ring, I pledge to you 
My heart's faithful to thank you. Father, we thank you for this couple that have just given their vows to each other. We pray, Lord, your blessing upon them throughout their life. And we pray, God, right now that you will join them together as husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> and as much as you have bound together in Holy Wedlock and have pledged before God and these friends, I have I, and acknowledge your vows by giving them rings. I pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas A. Linza. When we started getting older and I was 
beautiful enough to watch you while you have like running errands or whatever. Um, I remember a time watching you. I can't remember what you did, but I felt that you needed to be punished for it in some way. <laughs> So, the punishment I came up with is I made you watch C SPAN. I told you that came from what they were doing. And it was to my surprise that I actually watched C SPAN until they came home. So, and um, it's just seeing the young man that you have become and the wonderful woman that you've married and just watching you guys grow up together middle school and all the middle school dances, the high school proms, and just staying together through college, going to different colleges, and Chris working at Disney World and everything. It's, it's been very really special to watch you guys grow up together for so long. So, on that note, I just want to raise a toast to love and happiness for your marriage. I wish you guys the best.